Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's video. Today we will focus on organic chemistry part two. Part two will focus on the isomer, which is a structural isomer, and also the polymer, which include additional and condensation, two type of process. So first we go to isomer first. If you need to learn more about the homologous series, please feel free to go to my previous video. Structural formula represent molecule that have same molecular formula, but have different structural formula. So molecular same, structural formula different. For example, this is the past question. Draw the structure of two structural isomer that have C4H10. We draw, start from C4 first. So we have one, two, three, four, then. So the butane would be the first C4H10. Other than that, we can slowly reduce the carbon on the long chain. Initially, we have four carbon. Now we reduce to three carbon. And then the one carbon, we must put it in the middle carbon. We cannot put it at the end carbon part because if we put in the end carbon part, it will be exactly the same as this. So we put the carbon in the middle. This also C4H10. This is the butane. This is 2-methyl propane. So both of them are structural isomer because they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Then we see other situations, for example, C4H8. So this is an alkene. So we, again, we start from C4. Since it's an alkene, then we have a double bond. So we put our double bond in front first. Then we put in the hydrogen. This is called but. And then the double bond on the first carbon, so but one in. For double bond, other than we can put at the side, we can also put it in the middle. Built two in. According to the sequence, the double bond is on the second carbon. Other than this, then we can reduce the four carbon to three carbon. Then we fit in the double bond here. And then the carbon we put in the middle. So this is also C4H8, two metal propene. Next. When you have one O, this is alcohol, C3, alcohol, so we first put the OH at the side. Propan, one O, because the OH group is followed on the first carbon. Then, of course, we can fit the OH in the middle carbon. Propan, two O. And then since it's 3C, we are unable to reduce it to 2C because if we put 2C, the carbon within either the first or second carbon at the site. So it do not make any difference. So just like this. Last is this C2O2. There are two possibilities, which is carboxylic acid or ester. So let's draw the carboxylic acid situation. C2 is like this, then carboxylic acid. So it's C2H4O2, ethanoic acid. Next, you go to the ester situation. Initially, it's an acid and an alcohol, and then the H2O will remove methyl methanoate. This is the ester. So always remember, ester and carboxylic acid can be the structural isomer also. Okay, let's see the past year question. Alkene react with steam in an additional reaction. Some alkene produce only one alcohol. Some alkene produce two different alcohol. Which row give you the number of alcohol isomer form when 18 is react with steam and when propene react with steam? So 18 react with steam, it can only form H O H or then remove double bond, become single bond. And both of these OH is on the first carbon because we can read from left to right or right to left. So that's why it only have one isomer. How about propene? OH, we can put it here or here. So this is called propan 1O. This is called propan 2O because this is carbon number one. This is carbon number two. So we have two isomer for propene plus steam. So answer is B. Next, describe what is mean by the term structural isomer. They have same molecular formula, but different structural formula. That Name a carboxylic acid which have structural isomer with ester Y. This is C2H4O2. So we know that the carboxylate 
acid that have this molecular formula is ethanoic acid, just like that. Next, which pair of compounds are structural isomers? We see the first one. Here we have C3, here we have C4. So obviously they don't have the same molecular formula, so not structural isomer. Here we have 3C, 3C. Looks like okay, but here is actually prop one in because one, two, three, the double bond is on the first carbon. And then how about this? One, two, three, one, two, three. So here also prop one in. So for both of them, they're not only same molecular formula, they're also same structure formula. So they are not structure isomer. And then how about this? One, two, three, one, two, three. The OH is on the first carbon, so it's propan one O. Same code to this, also propan one O. So both also propan one O, so it's not structural isomer. How about this? One, two, three, four. This is butanoic acid. Here is ester. My alcohol is 2C, so it's ethyl. Acid is 2C also, so ethyl ethanol. So they have different structural isomer, so that's why answer is B. Next, which substances are structural isomers again? Butyl 2 in propene. So this is C4, this is C3, confirm no. Ethyl ethanol, so C4. Butanol acid C4, so yes, it's this. How about this? Methyl methanoate is C2. Here, ethanol also C2, but we remember ester will be structural isomer only with carboxylic acid. This alcohol is no, because alcohol only one O. Ester and acid have two O, so we cannot be structural isomer with alcohol. Then propan one O and butan one O, one is C3, one is C4, so confirm no. So answer is B. Next question, they say is carboxylic acid and ester are structural isomer. Again, ask you to find the meaning. The meaning is just same molecular formula, different structural formula. Next, draw the structure of carboxylic acid and ester that both contain two carbon atoms. So for carboxylic acid is 2C and then OOH, here is HHH. And then for ester is, this part is the acid part and then it attached to the alcohol that also have one C. So the name of this is ethanoic acid. This is methyl methanoate. Done. Okay, one more question. Compound T and V have same molecular formula of these. So 2O, we already know one is ester, one is carboxylic acid. State the name given to compound have the same molecular formula but different structure. So this is structural isomer. Next. Name the homologous series of V, so COOH represent carboxylic acid. Next, draw the structure of compound T, show all the atoms and all the bonds, name compound T. So this T have C3, so the ester. This part is the alcohol part, and this part is the acid part. So this thing called methyl ethanoate. For this question, of course, you can draw ethyl methanoate, so both also accepted. Part 4, draw the structure formula of compound V. So we have C3 and it's an acid, so it's CCC, OOH. So the name of this is propanoic acid, just like that. Okay, after done isomer, we go for polymer. So polymer, we have two types, the additional and condensation. So we go for additional first. First of all, what are polymers? Polymers are large molecules that build up from many smaller molecules, which are called monomers. So for additional polymerization, the monomers is always alkene. Must have C double bond C. So let's see some example. We start from polyethene and polybut one in. This is the monomer. When the alkene monomer join together, we just add poly in front of it. So let's see how to draw ethene first. So ethene is C double bond C. And when we want to do additional polymerization, only put other atom on top and bottom of my C double bond C. The H H H H. We put up, down. We don't put left, right, because the middle can only have C double bond C. When they form polymer, this double bond just remove one of the bond and then join with the site like this. When this thing attached to many, many, many of this ethane, it will form polyethene. 
we can also draw it in this way. This is also the way for us to display the polyethylene. So same concept goes to polybutyl-1-in. Butyl-1-in have four carbon. So butyl-1-in is like this. Always bear in mind when we draw additional, in the middle, we only put the C double bond C, which is this. Other one, two, three, four, all we put up, down, do not put left, right. And then what is this? This is CH2CH3, which means it is C2H5. We need to make sure we arrange in this way first, then only we remove the double bond and join together just like that. Okay, let's see I just question. Ethene can be polymerized. Which diagram represents the structure of the product form? Ethene is this. The product form will remove the double bond and become like this. The C. Additional polymer are made from alkene. This figure shows one repeat unit for additional polymer from butene. So let's see. Initially, butene is one, two, three, four. Double bond here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we know C double bond C right here. So this is the H we put up. This CH3 we must put down. And then this H we put up. This CH3 we also put down. So when they're joined together to form polymer, we just remove this double bond and then attach left and right. So this would be our polymer. So we just join that. Just like that. Next question, the structure of compound A is shown. Compound A can be used as a single monomer to produce two different polymer. Draw the one repeat unit of additional polymer. When additional polymerization, so this double bond, we just change it to single bond and then we join here. So we just copy this down. So this is the one repeat unit. Of course, if they ask you to draw more, then you just continue. But they just request for one repeat unit just like this. Next question. The diagram shows the structure of a polymer. Which structure is then a monomer of this? So can you see? Every two carbon is actually the repeated unit. This one, we put the double bond here. This is how we draw it out. So we find from A, B, C, D. Confirm not here because here is a C double bond C, which is very wrong. So here have two C. We don't have this thing. Oh, this is the same. This is no, because here have so many C is impossible, okay? So after done additional polymerization, so now we go to the condensation polymerization. They will form more molecule of byproduct. So usually this byproduct is water or HCl. In IG syllabus, usually it is H2O. So we have two types of Condensation, polymerization, one is polyester. So ester, we already know, is the reaction between carboxylic acid and alcohol. Usually, one carboxylic acid and one alcohol will form one ester, but polymer cannot have so short. It needs to be very, very long. So that's why we will say we will have dicarboxylic acid and diol. So for example, we have like this. This is dicarboxylic acid. Can you see left, right also have carboxylic acid? And what is diol? Diol have OH. OH. They will form ester bond from here. So this thing will remove as water. And then they can join together as a ester bond. And then of course this part OH will join with another COOH. And then this water will remove. So it will continue to join. And this thing we call them polyester. Example of polyester is PET. It's easy to remember because E. Then the second type of condensation polymer is polyamide. Polyamide is the combination between carboxylic acid and amine. So carboxylic acid, we already know. Carboxylic acid is like this, dicarboxylic acid. What is diamine? Amine is NH2. This part can form H2O. Then they will form the bond here. So this is called amide bond. This is amide bond. So C double bond O and NH together is called amide bond. Of course, here and here we will continue to form with other dicarboxylic acid and diamine to become a very long chain. So the example for polyamide 
you need to know is nylon. And then the natural polyamide is protein. It's just like this. Of course, they might ask you what is the monomer of proteins. There is one more specific name called amino acid. If you learned bio, this will be a very easy one. If you don't know bio, make sure you know protein is actually made from amino acid. Let's see the IG's question. The repeat unit of condensation polymer is shown. So they already tell you it's condensation polymer. So it's either amide bond or ester bond. We see here it's obviously an ester bond. So here initially is the acid, COOH. And then here is from alcohol. Just like that. Name the type of condensation polymer. So this is polyester. And name two homologous series which the monomers come from. So confirm one is carboxylic acid. One more is alcohol. That. Next question, what is correct structure for PET? So we know it's a polyester. So we need to go and find the ester bond. This is a mite bond, so it's not. Okay, so this is ester bond, yes. This is a mite bond, no. So this is ester bond, okay. It need to be always COO, COO, COO. So this is okay. This is COO, but it's not COO here. So that's why we cannot accept this. So the answer is just B. Next, this equation shows the formation of polymer Kevlar acid plus amine. They will form polyamide. So polyamide is correct. So this is condensation because they remove H2O. Next. Which functional group form amide linkage? So we know it is COOH and NH2, just like that. Next, which statement about the polymer is correct? So C double bond O and H is polyamide. It says alkene are polymerized to make polymer. So no, alkene is used for additional. Next, it is a polyester. No, it's polyamide. It's an additional. No, it's condensation. Water is produced. Yes, condensation will produce small molecules. Here is water. Next question. Polymer contain ester linkage called polyester. Polyamides are another type of polymer. Nylon is one of the polyamide. The structure of nylon is shown here. State the term used to describe the type of polymerization used to produce polyester and polyamide. So it's under condensation. Complete figure 6.3 to show the structure of monomer used to produce nylon. This part is initially carboxylic acid. And then this part initially is NH2. So we just add the HH, just like that. Last, we go to the natural occurring polyamides are found in foods. Still the name given naturally occurring polyamides, protein. Name the type of monomer that form this protein is amino acid. Then, which linkage join amino acids in protein? So we know it's polyamide. So it's C double bond O and H. So it's A. So it's just like that for the isomer and polymer for organic chemistry. Hope you enjoy this class and see you in the next class. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye-bye.